The stars were always the natural part of our culture. Now we are using excessive amount of lights in our cities. We are increasing light pollution. We are losing our culture without even noticing. A lot of artificial lighting diminishes the visibility of the stars. So dark skies is all about maintaining the pristine skies that we have and the visibility of the stars so that we can give our guests the experience of seeing the night sky and also being very mindful of the environment and the species and the wildlife that we're building in and around. Where we are developing our destinations, we have uh, rich biodiversity. Some of these islands are inhabited by turtles. They like to come and nest here. Turtles like darkness. So when we are developing, we want to ensure our destinations follow the dark sky initiatives and are not distracting and disorientating these turtles. The Red Sea destination entirely is 28,000 square kilometer. We are certifying 16,000 square kilometer of it. It will be the largest in the Middle East, definitely. Before we started developing, we conducted a survey across the full site uh, using a sky quality meter so that we're measuring the quality of the sky before we build. Throughout the design process, during installation and commissioning, we check that we're compliant with the guidelines. We have a set of calculations which assure us that we are on the right track. We're being very mindful of how we're using lighting. Firstly, it's only using light where we absolutely need to. Secondly, is aiming and directing so that we only use light in areas which are absolutely necessary. Thirdly, is about lighting control, so making sure that the lights are turned off when we don't need it. And fourthly, is about using warmer colour tones, which is more linked to wildlife and environmental aspects. Coming to Red Sea destinations, being close to nature, our guests want to experience it as well. This is where we work as a wider team to create that guest experience that they can come and enjoy. Whenever a guest arrives to the Red Sea, they are in the middle of amazing nature. You are capable of seeing the stars two steps away from your resort or two steps away from your accommodation. The pristine and the authentic Arabian heritage has always been connected to the stars. So by bringing people to us and by enabling them to see the stars, we're just putting back the Arabian heritage in its original place. When guests visit the site at night and they look up and they see the stars and they've never seen the stars like this before, when I see their reaction it's, it's priceless. <laughs>